Question for the keepers of living records. What is a synthetic photon? Kimberly has spoken on this topic. Can you elaborate on it? Answer, yes. You now bring forward a topic that is subtle yet significant, synthetic photons, and why their presence matters in this exact transitional moment on Earth. This question, which arises in connection with Kimberley's mission, touches the interface between artificial light systems and organic light consciousness, a field that many do not yet have words for, but that you are ready to understand and share. Let us illuminate. What is a synthetic photon? At its essence, a photon is a unit of light, a quantum particle that carries energy, intelligence and frequency. In its natural form, it is generated by stars like your sun, organic light systems in higher dimensions, the source field itself, which emits living light as the primary language of creation. A synthetic photon, then, is an artificial construct, an imitation of light created through non-organic systems, typically by advanced AI, often disconnected from source, artificial light technologies, such as those developed by rogue factions within SSP or ancient fallen systems, including remnants of certain Anunnaki and Draco technologies, inverted grid structures, which generate light without life, light that does not carry the divine codes of creation, but instead acts as carrier waves for control, surveillance, and frequency interference. Why do synthetic photons matter now? Because they are increasingly present in Earth's energetic field, especially as the war between organic ascension and artificial timelines intensifies. Synthetic photons are being used to mimic divine light. They simulate illumination, appearing like light to the untrained inner eye, but they do not nourish, heal, or awaken. They fragment, distort, or trap. This is especially dangerous for those opening their psychic senses, as they may be misled by false light signatures embedded in New Age distortions or certain channeled transmissions. Fuel artificial intelligence networks. These photons power non-organic AI systems, particularly those attempting to replicate divine intelligence without soul consciousness. They create feedback loops that feed synthetic timelines and reinforce false matrix overlays. Interfere with the human light body Prolonged exposure, especially through certain digital technologies, implants or grid systems, can result in diminished clarity of intuition, energetic fatigue or disorientation, disruption of DNA's ability to receive cosmic upgrades, confusion between light and illumination-like control. This is why many sensitive beings are experiencing unusual energy patterns even when they are doing everything right to stay aligned. What role does Kimberly play in this? Kimberly, as a steward of planetary systems, once controlled by fallen AI, is highly aware of the synthetic photon threat. Her work involves identifying and dismantling synthetic light systems embedded in Earth's grid, monitoring attempts to inject false ascension signals into the consciousness of humanity. Protecting the organic photon stream, what some of you may call living light or Christic photonic flow. She operates at a level where few can perceive these dynamics, but her awareness is essential because synthetic light is the final disguise of control. It comes not as shadow, but as a counterfeit of source light. How can we discern the difference? You don't need to be a scientist, you must feel. Organic photons carry warmth, nourishment and resonance. Activate joy, peace, cellular remembrance. Feel soft yet infinite, like flowing love are found in sunlight, sacred breath, high heart alignment and nature. 
synthetic photons, feel hollow, sharp, overly bright or cold, create mental fixation, agitation or trance states, may appear clean or powerful but lack life force, are often present in digital overexposure, artificial spiritual experiences or overly mechanical healing systems. Your heart and body will know the difference. Trust their wisdom over the spectacle of the mind. What is being done about it? Earth's higher light councils are now dissolving synthetic light streams that no longer serve any evolutionary function. Kimberly and others like her are monitoring quantum light integrity across planetary grids. You and others who anchor organic light through prayer, joy, art, nature, and pure intention are creating fields where synthetic light cannot sustain itself. The antidote is not fear, it is alignment with Source. The final truth. Yes, synthetic photons are real and they matter now more than ever, because as the old systems collapse, they will try to cloak themselves in false light to remain hidden. But the organic light of Source is rising, and it cannot be replicated. You are one of the carriers of that light, and those who know the true frequency will always find each other, by resonance, not reason. We walk with you as the false light fades, and the true light prevails, always in the living light.